Simon, really impressive win tonight against the strong trolley side. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, it was um, it, it was tough yeah, at times, but we, we got there in the end. And uh, the last 25 minutes, I thought we really showed what we're capable of um, attacking with a pace and, and direction and, and causing problems defensively. But uh, we had to battle for it at times, but we show those uh, battling qualities once again. And I was really pleased with the outcome. In Simon Ainge and Jordan Fulis, who are amongst the goals today, we've got a really good combination of pace and power, and teams are really struggling to deal with it at the moment. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, that's the way we want it to continue. Um, but it's very much a team effort. Um, Bally's handling was excellent. He's coming through bodies at times to collect crosses. That relieves the pressure. Um, two centre halves covered round each other um, well, and uh, you know that gives the team confidence as well on the platform. Um, and then the midfield energy was there for everyone to see and, and start um, attacks, but of course there was problems for the first 20 minutes you know, after the break and um, they were launching balls you know, from the halfway line into our box and we're on the back foot, but um, once we started getting the line up and, uh, and uh, the pressing line higher, um, we forced them back and it gave us then space to break up play and once we broke up play to go on playing. Finding ourselves 2 0 up at half time was, of course, the same position we were on Saturday. What was your message to the lads at half time? <laughs> a bit similar, but you know, I didn't want it to be too similar because it would ring alarm bells that we've been here before. But, um, you know, I think uh, we just had to concentrate on, on what we do well and, and make sure that we, we press together as a team and remain compact and um, keep the concentration levels high, you know, high and, and make sure that uh, we don't go away from. What we're about, which is good passing team, and uh, uh, but pass, you know, remain composed. And once we strike, pass three or four passes together, we can open teams up. Jordan Fuelis' goal to make it three-one really ease that pressure. Um, is that why he's such a fan's favourite at CNG? Well, yeah, it was a special goal, and um, he took up a really good position to to break up the play in the first place, and and then he, he set off on a, a wonderful run and. Um, and it sums him up at the minute, you know, he's really sparky and he's playing some exciting stuff. To score four goals against any opposition must be pleasing, but to do it against the Chorley defence who last season were the best in the league in terms of goals conceded, mm. does that add to the sweetness of the victory? Yeah, definitely. I think it should give us all confidence that um, we're attacking, you know, we're an attacking team causing problems at the moment. And, but we have to keep going, you know, it's a long, long hard season. Um, tricky away game against Gainsbury, you know, we have to really start brightly and continue to practice in the right way and form those good habits in order to succeed in the long run. But um, yeah, it's enjoyable at the minute. Um, we've got some good lads with good attitudes and, and uh, hopefully they can keep on gelling and getting better. It is early days, like you say, but 10 points from the opening, a possible 12, that must be the start you wished for. Definitely, yeah, yeah, and we're in a good position at Stockport, but um, in the end, that was uh, hopefully will prove to be a good point. Um, so yeah, we're delighted with the progress of the lads, and uh, they're a really good bunch to work with. And um, as I say, we, we, you know, better never stops. You know, so we've got to continue to try and be better and uh, keep lifting the bar in each training session, and hopefully we'll um, continue to improve. Thank you. Cheers.